Good Wednesday afternoon, everybody, live and direct from House Onik in downtown Memphis. I hope I'm live with this at this point in time. We're looking again at some quiet conditions across uh, much of the Mid-South area. We're seeing little, if anything, at this time, or we're seeing, again, the possibility of anything in the way of major severe weather taking place, but we are going to be seeing, again, that possibility of some showers and thunderstorms across portions of the area as we get into and around the area for later on tonight, and there is also going to be that possibility of maybe some stronger weather heading our way as we get into tomorrow and also into around Friday. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. For those of you who have never joined us before, our brand new look of our video weather blog, Weather Overtime, we are live on YouTube and Google Plus right now. Hopefully we're getting a Periscope Twitter update going up here in the course of about the next maybe half an hour or somewhere in there. So thanks to everybody for joining us on this. And as of right now, again, decent amounts of problems uh, with streaming. Hopefully this is coming through. We're having some trouble, again, getting the Internet signal through uh, at this point in time, it looks like. So we may have to try this again at some point in time. So as of right now, we have the possibility of activity going on. Matter of fact, let's just go ahead and show you more about what's going on across much of the area. We have, again radar up here showing again a few scattered showers and thunderstorms across parts of the Mid-South. Let's go in on the metro area and show you that we have again little if anything really taking place at this time directly in the Mid-South. Things are pretty quiet in the central parts of the viewing area. Back to the north and east we have again some scattered showers across the boot heel of Missouri in the upper uh, right corner of your screen up into around the area, the central portion of the screen that you're watching back over there, and also seeing again more showers than anything else between Jonesboro and I-55. Bulk of the activity right now is over West Tennessee, west of Dyersburg, or uh, east of Dyersburg, north and east of Jackson, back over toward the Tennessee River Valley. Most of that activity is again drifting its way back toward the northeast. Matter of fact, we'll go ahead and put this into motion and show you that we have most of the activity heading back up to the north of us, so not too much to worry about uh, directly here. Northern Mississippi is very quiet at this time. There's little, if anything, going on across portions of the area around between Corinth and Tishomingo counties over on the far right-hand corner of your screen, all the way over to I-55 and Tunica, Coahoma, Quitman counties showing little, if anything, at this point. So it's all mainly north and western areas of Tennessee that is picking up the showers and thunderstorms at this time, so decently quiet across much of the area where that's concerned. So no major problems being seen here. Let's take a look and see how traffic is going across much of the area. We don't have, again, a lot of anything going on uh, at this point. Little, if anything, in the way of major amounts of problems out across uh, much of the area. If you are going to be traveling here in the next couple hours, always going to be, again, some traffic problems in and around the Mid-South. It looks like that most of the activity that we are seeing with anything involving problems is down to around the area of I-55, in and around the area close uh, to around, around Tuggle Road somewhere in there and into and around areas, whoops, wrong direction, there we go, uh, back to the area around Concord Road, Rains, Pleasant Hill, down to about maybe 10 to 15 miles per hour or so, so a bit of a problem problem in those locations and as always some problems on Poplar Avenue from 240 back to around the area close to it looks like East Parkway somewhere in there so not much of anything going on uh, major at this time but we will be keeping our eyes on this as we get into the course of the next couple of hours especially when it comes to travel home so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. Currently on the area of the Mid-South nothing showing up in the way of earthquakes in the last 24 hours, some pretty big ones across the world, about 6.0 or bigger, uh, but nothing showing up directly from the Mid-South, courtesy of the United States Geological Survey and the Center for Earthquake Research and Information. Traffic, again, taking a look at some of the vector cameras from Vanderbilt University. Uh, traffic, as always, slowed down in some locations in the Mid-South as we get through the mid-afternoon. Not quite as bad as it is when we get toward about rush hour or so. If you'd like to see more of these web cameras, go to Vanderbilt University and search the vector traffic cameras for the TDOT Smartway cameras for the Memphis area. Tons of details available there. Lots of clouds popping up across the area. Looking at Power Center Academy, you can see some of those cumulus clouds up there blocking out some of the sunlight as the mowers get busy out there on the lawn taking care of everything out that direction. Looking toward Germantown Parkway, St. Francis and Cordova, showing light traffic and everything moving along pretty well. Looks like the Delta School in Wilson, Arkansas is back up and going again. Glad to hear that. Uh, great view of the lawn. Hopefully you get a nice view of what it looks like outside the 
school pretty soon. And some of those clouds and thunderstorms popping up on Bethel Springs Elementary territory. And that's where we're seeing again some areas of cloud cover. Maybe it looks like a rain foot in that area down toward the lower left-hand corner above the horizon, but not doing too bad across the Mid-South. Showing again a Whoop, there we go. Blank screen for a second. Sorry about that. Looking toward the area of the river. Mississippi River is doing much better at this time heading on downwards and will continue to do so throughout the course of the rest of the next couple of days. Looks like a pretty steady flow downwards into the next uh, few days or so as the Mississippi River crested over the last few days and is now doing its best to head back on downwards once again. Should be about 10 feet it looks like by about this time next week or so. So a steady progression downwards into the next few days. Radar is again showing those areas of showers and thunderstorms across West Tennessee and into around areas of eastern Arkansas mainly just showers, little if anything showing up in and around the Mid-South area. Rest of the forecast into the next couple of days from the Weather Prediction Center is showing a new storm system back off to the west of us, and that's going to be heading closer to us as we get into Friday, and that could trigger off the possibility of some stronger thunderstorms, especially as we get into what looks like Friday afternoon and evening. Now, so far, major amounts of severe weather does not appear to be likely, but Going to have to watch this again as we are in that prime time for severe weather out there. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit where it comes to anything involving uh, severe weather out there. Temperatures back into the lower to mid-60s for tonight. High temperatures tomorrow back in the mid-80s with those chances of showers and thunderstorms. A little bit better across northeast Arkansas. And then low temperatures Thursday night going to be going back into about the lower to mid-60s. Heading toward Friday, high temperatures a little cooler as that cooler air gets a little bit closer to us. Temperatures back into the mid to upper 70s to lower to mid 80s and more chances of showers and thunderstorms out there. Severe weather chances at this time doesn't really look like a great deal taking place, but we could be seeing again more problems as we get into around uh, Friday. That's where we see again the potential of some of that severe weather, some, not a lot, dropping its way into the area around the marginal threat layer around the boot heel, northwest Tennessee and northeast Arkansas. So that's where we're mainly looking at the uh, possibility for more severe weather across uh, much of the area. So stick around for more information on that as we go into the next couple of days, and we're definitely going to keep you uh, advised on that. Whether or not we have anything in the way of good amounts of uh, viewing for tonight, if you have a telescope, there is going to be a uh, asteroid flying by, which should, should be decently bright. If you'd like to know more about that and other stuff, we'll be posting more on Skyblog 3 coming up a little bit later on. Astronomy information from across the Mid-South and points beyond as well, so stick around for more information information and we'll keep you updated on that as we see stuff across the area coming on through and great opportunity to see more with the I believe the Lyrid meteor showers coming up so we'll talk more about that coming up a little bit later on. We'll have more details in your complete forecast tonight on News Channel 3 on First at 4 with Tim and Jim all the way throughout News Channel 3 at 10 and then I will be on with you tomorrow morning. Todd Demer is taking a break from his very busy anchoring schedule and more details to come on the complete forecast on tomorrow morning's News Channel 3 daybreak, so definitely want to stay tuned for that. Live and direct from House Onik in Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Stay tuned for more coming up with News Channel 3 over the next several hours into the rest of the evening, and we'll have more tonight on News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the, I already said that, into tomorrow morning, I should say, with News Channel 3 daybreak. Thanks for joining me on Twitter and also on Periscope, YouTube, and Google+, and also going to be posting this on Facebook a little bit later on. All the social media stuff you see available there and there. Check me out on social media, and we'll get you updated on weather and science in the Mid-South. Thanks for joining me. More details coming up later on News Channel 3.